What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's video. This video I was not gonna drop because they did an update and it didn't, it did all right. Like the update made it less than what it was. Everyone knows what it is, and that is the Marco. And it's still an absolute banger. Now, and if you don't, if you don't believe me that this Marco still slaps and this Marco has that range, check out some of these clips. So stick around to the end and I'll go over this build and you run it, let me know down in the comment section what you think. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit that sub button, hit that bell to get notified when I go live and post new content just like this. While you're still here, go look at the clips. Kitty, kitty, push him, push him, push him, run down. Run down, yeah. He's dead. Yeah, fucked up on orange. Another guy right here. You see him right here? He's just in the corner. No, dude, no fucking way! I'm close to that fucking got me. Fucking bullshit! All right, here's the build. Muzzle is the F8 stabilizer. Uh, pros, accuracy, damage range, and cons, sprint to fire speed, and hip fire. I'm not necessarily building this weapon for hip fire, so that's not a big deal to me. Sprint to fire speed um, is not that bad on this build. Um, a different option you can go for is a recoil booster. It helps with the fire rate, uh, cons, accuracy. Um, barrel is the Imerito. Uh, Imerito 342 millimeter. I'm butchering the shit out of that name. Yeah. Take it or leave it. <laughs> You're taking it. Um, which helps cons. I'm sorry. Pros are the highly highly accurate uh, and controllable bullet velocity, flinch resistance, uh, reduces scope sway and gun bob. Cons aim down sight speed and sprint to fire. Again, it does not, it's not a very big con sprint to fire. It's not that bad. Underbarrel, I am using the Carver foregrip. Pros, vertical recoil control, hip fire accuracy. Um, cons, aim down sight speed, um, which is not that bad as far as aim down sight. Uh, a different option you can use is the Mark uh, 6 Skeletal, uh, which helps aim down sight speed and movement speed. Um, con, hip fire accuracy. Magazine is the 8mm Nambu 64 round drum. Pros, hip fire accuracy, recoil control. Uh, magazine ammo capacity cons aim down sight speed bullet penetration bullet velocity and movement speed uh, it doesn't slow down your movement too bad it's not crazy as far as uh, your mobility is still good i should say ammunition i'm using the fmj it helps with the bullet penetration um, another one you can use uh, i've seen people run is the um, hollow point uh, which is limb damage and con which is pro is limb damage, con is damage range. Um, you could also use lengthen if you wanted to, kind of give it a little more velocity. That one's completely up to you. Um, these other ones, eh. I'd either go with, like I said, the FMJ or hollow point. Rear grip, I'm using the rubber grip, which uh, pro, vertical recoil control, and flinch resistant. Cons, none. Perk one is Frenzy. You can also use Gung Ho is another one uh, option you can go with. Perk two, I use Quick. Um, another option you can go with is On Hand, which helps with the equipment dexterity and aim down sight speed. Stock, Imerito FR. Helps with the initial fire recoil, recoil recovery, aim down sight speed, and movement speed. Cons, accuracy, and recoil during sustained fire, which is not that bad. And as always, Optic, completely up to you. Optional, I use the Slate Reflector which is 1.35 uh, 1 magnification, small rectangular sight, and precision in sight picture. A con, none. That's it for that. All right, that's the breakdown of the build. Build it, run it. Let me know in the down in the comment section what you think of it. And as always, catch you on the flip side.